So the one click super cleaner and speed booster for Fire TV seems to be a very popular application. Lots of people have been talking about it. Lots of YouTubers have reviewed it. They've all said it's really good. But the question is, does it actually work? Well, lots of you have asked me to look into this application, find out what's happening under the hood. I mean, the application claims to be your go to cash cleaner. It claims to close down your app sufficiently. It closes down unnecessary memory hogging programs, delivering a smooth and rapid operation. So it does sound very marketing, very sales pitch like. But let's now check in reality what's actually happening. And you guys can let me know in the comments if this application actually does something or not. So let's start with the first one, which is closes down unnecessary programs. So as I'm sure many of you know, this application here, background apps and process lists, lists all of the things running in the background on your Fire Stick, Fire TV, Fire TV Cube. It is 100% free. You can get it directly from the App Store. And this is the only true accurate reflection on exactly what's running on your device. So let's open that up. Okay, so we can see this is telling me I've got 20 applications open in the background. I can click on refresh. Okay, so we can fully confirm my device has 20 user applications open in the background. I can now exit out of this. Let's now try this super amazing one click super cleaner. So let's open that up. Okay, it tells me my device needs to clean up. Maybe it will close down some of those 20 applications open up in the background. I can now click on start cleanup and boost. Okay, it says it's cleaning and boosting my device. Let's give that a second. And you guys can see for yourselves when I open up the background apps and process list straight after this application has finished, I'm not going to cut this video. I'm not going to edit anything because I want you to see in real time exactly what this application does. So let me click on close. That's now closed. Let's now open up the background apps and process list. Let's see exactly how many applications, how many of these memory hogging applications have now actually been stopped, which is what the free super cleaner claims to do. So let's open that up. And I think the answer is there, guys. So it hasn't actually closed off a single application running in the background. We still have 20 user applications running. So when the super cleaner says it closes down unnecessary memory hogging applications, it's clearly not talking about these ones then. So now, as you guys know, you can use this application to close off these applications. You do have to do it one at a time, but at least you know when you do it, it does properly force close these applications. Now, if you don't want to do this one at a time, this is the main reason why I developed the TDUK app killer. We can see I can open this up. I can click on connect. I can now count again how many apps have I got running in the background. We have 20, which is accurate. Now we can see in one click, four stop all apps, and it tells me that 19 of those applications have been killed as it doesn't stop itself, which is why it doesn't stop 20, it stops 19. I can now click on exit. And of course, for us to confirm, did the application actually close off 19 apps in the background? We can again open up the background apps and process list. Let's click on that. And here you can see it, guys. So when my application tells you that it closes off all background applications with one click, it does in fact do exactly that. Whereas that super cleanup doesn't do anything at all to these applications. Let's now try the cache part because we can see again, just to confirm, if I go to the info, this application here claims to be your go-to cache cleaner. So let's verify that. If I go to my applications, let's check out my cache size on a few apps. Let's go in here, go to manage install applications. Let's start with the streaming one. So the BTV, that one, we can see the cache size is 24.61 meg in size. And this is basically the thumbnails, the, the movie banners, all that kind of stuff. Here we can see with this application, we can see this one is 23.74 meg. Uh, CBS is 1.95 meg. And cinema, a big one, is 52 meg in size. So lots of cache built up over time when you're browsing content, browsing thumbnails. So over time that can build up. Let's now try the one click super cleaner and let's see what it does to these four caches. Let's press home. Let's open up the app again, super cleaner. Give that a second. I can now click on start cleanup and boost. 
I mean, it just looks like, you know, nice animations, nice graphics, but in reality, what is this application actually doing? Maybe it can clean the cache. So yes, it couldn't stop any applications running in the background. Maybe this will just clean our cache. Okay, device cleaning and boosting finish. Let's click on close. Let's now go back to my application list and let's see the state of those four applications and see exactly how much cache was cleared. So manage applications. Uh, let's try it with the first one, which was the, the B one. And we can see the cache size has not changed at all. It's still 24.61 meg in size. EBS is still 23 meg. This catch up is still 1.95 meg. And the last one, is still 52 megs. So again, even though the application claims to be your go-to cache cleaner, in reality it's cleaning nothing. Now, if you do want to clean your cache with one click, we can also look at the TDUK cache cleaner, which claims to, and I have to say claim now because let's see if it actually works. This claims to clean all of your caches with one click. Again, I can click on connect. I always recommend doing the clean cache and reboot, but in the interest of time, let's just click on clean cache. So three, two, one, click. It says to me the application caches were cleared. The application will close. Give that a second. The app does close. Let's now press the home key. I'm not going to edit this out. I want to go straight down into applications. Go down into managed install applications. Let's scroll down to the B. And what do we see? See the cache has now gone down to the base size of just 16 kilobytes. CBS down to 16 kilobytes. CBS down to the default. And the last one, which we know was the big one, which was over 50 meg in size, we can see has gone down to 16 kilobytes. So just to confirm that when my applications say they are properly stopping all background applications, they in fact do exactly that. When my application says it's going to clean out your cache with one click, it does exactly that. Whereas other applications like the super cleaner does nothing for your background applications, does nothing for your memory hogging applications and does absolutely nothing for your application caches. So lots of you did ask me to look into this application to see, does it actually work? And I think with what I've demonstrated today, I'll let you be the judge of that. Do leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. And I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.